Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about the American Civil War. Now before I go into summary analysis of this war, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Now, the American Civil War, um, let's just get straight to the point. Uh, why was it fought? Well, it was mainly fought because of slavery. Now, that's the most major reason as to why uh, the American Civil War was fought. It's not the only reason, but it was a major part of it. Um, in 1863, uh, we know that Abraham Lincoln um, issued the Emancipation Proclamation, which freed um, all slaves. Now, the thing is, the northern states, the Union, uh, they weren't that much reliant upon slavery uh, because the, the industry uh, of the northern states was, was kicking off and the need, the economic need for slavery was not that much needed in the North anymore. Um, in the South, for the Confederate States, uh, the South heavily relied upon slave labor for agricultural purposes. Um, and so, yes, the war was fought uh, to end slavery um, as, a, as a moral crusade to end slavery. But at the same time, there were some economic reasons as to why the South fought so much um, to keep slavery because it had to do with money. Um, it had to do uh, with them protecting their money uh, because the South was heavily invested into agriculture and at that time you needed slaves um, to take care of your farms. You needed slaves to make uh, a profit on your farm. Uh, the North, again, you had industry, the industrial um, system was kicking off and yes, there were still, you know, some, you know, um, need but not a, a over dependence. I mean also in the north you had the abolitionist movement that was very strong and that was gaining a lot of support. Um, you know within the Civil War too you also had states that were demanding that they have self-government rights and you know today we have the 50 states and we have the federal government. Uh, the north within the Civil War they, they, they really um, relied upon the, the strength of the federal government and there were some states that really wanted to rely upon the force of the state governments uh, so th that was an issue you know um, smooth smoothing those lines between the federal the power of the federal government uh, and the state government was also brought into question throughout this war now this was a bloody war you know brother against brother state against state um, it, it was a bloody war. It lasted for four years. Um, you had the Emancipation Proclamation. You had issues with um, state and, and federal uh, jurisdiction. Um, you know, ultimately the North won uh, and uh, the South, uh, the Confederate States were br brought back into the Union. Now, let's be clear. One of the most important things to the Northern States within this war was to bring back uh, the, the, the Confederate states or, or the, the, the sovereign state that had seceded back into the Union. Uh, in order for America to expand, in order for America to become what it is today, um, you know, the, the, North, the North knew that they needed the Confederate states back. Um, so there are several reasons as to why this war happened. Um, number one, of course, um, yes, slavery was a huge part of it. Uh, but also there were economic reasons, there were, um, you know, national reasons, uh, you know, both sides had, you know, a multitude of agendas. You wanted to bring back the, you wanted to put the country back together. You wanted to smooth over policies between the federal and the state government. Uh, you wanted to give black people freedom and liberty. Uh, you wanted to, you know, um, move the country forward in terms of, um, expansion, expanding the country. Um, all of this that was to come in the future, you couldn't have it. You couldn't have that if the country was divided. If the country was two uh, different um, countries. I mean, the Confederate States they were going to unite and they just become the Confederate States of America, and the North was going to be the North. You would have two Americas, and that simply wouldn't work. Uh, but ultimately, the North won. Um, the Confederate States came back into the fold. And after this, you have the Reconstruction period in America uh, to bring back the Confederate States and to make sure that the Union is strong. Um, so that's the Civil War. Um, it, that's when it was fought. Um, and, and those were the causes. Those were the reasons, economic reasons, 
um, country, national reasons, um, slavery, the moral crusade, um, all of that was a, a very important part uh, of the of to why the Civil War happened in America. Um, but again, most people will say that the war happened because of slavery. And yes, yes, slavery was was the the most major thing um, that uh, that was very important because because pretty much the war became a crusade uh, against um, slavery. Um, and again, the South really truly fought. Uh, to keep slavery because of economic purposes, because their farms, their agriculture relied a lot uh, upon slave labor, but the North, not that much. Um, so we have to understand, there's, it's not just one-sided. There are reasons why to why this happened. Uh, but again, it, it was a great step for the country. Of course, we're, we're, you know, the Emancipation Proclamation, black people were very happy. We're very happy uh, that, you know, that was passed. Uh, you know, slavery is just not, not a fun thing. Uh, but um, but yeah, that's that's the war. That's pretty much what happened within it. Um, after the war happened, in terms of deep meaning, there there was a lot of pain in the country. I mean, the country had just went through a bloody war, and a lot of white people, uh, black people, a lot of people died during this war um, to preserve the union, to propel America into a different um, time period. Um, and after the war, it, it wasn't easy to bring back the Confederate States back into the Union. It took many years and many compromises um, and many deals to, to, to smooth over uh, the pain of the Civil War uh, and what it meant for America and, what, and where it was going forward um, after the war. Uh, but yeah, soon after this war, what, what followed was the period of Reconstruction um, and, um, you know, Lincoln died uh, during that period. Uh, but that's that's pretty much the war. Um, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.